Okay, so the title of this video today is Your Purpose Has Layers. Now, what do I mean by that? Your purpose has layers in the sense that as you come closer and closer to the truth of who you are, you will see that outwardly in the physical reality, what you do may change. So if you have a look at who you were five years ago and what you were doing, it may look different to what you're doing right now. And it could look very different to what you do in the world in the next five or 10 years. But your true purpose is to serve as an extension of the love that you are in the world. And what is this love? It is you. So your purpose is to be yourself. And as you come closer and closer to this self and this knowing of who you really are, how it is expressed outwardly shifts and change. Changes, and this is the layers. So when I initially started to go on this journey of self-discovery, there was a time in my life where I, for a year, co-founded a non-profit organization and built a school in a rural township in South Africa for children aged naught to six in order to provide them with a loving space to have an education. Now, although we still have this nonprofit organization and we still have around 42 children who go to school every single day, this was a perfect part of my process in order for me to come even closer to the truth of who I really am. So in giving and providing for very young children who have little, I was able to receive perhaps the most love that I've received in a significant time in my life because those little children in their innocence were the love that I needed at that time in my life when I was actually going through a breakdown and questioning my worth and who I was in order for me to remember the love that I am. And then the shifts continued to take place and I was afforded the possibility and opportunity to start my own business and to be more of an entrepreneur on my path. And this is still a very necessary phase of bringing me even closer and deeper to the truth of who I am. Likewise, the same is always unfolding for you in that you have infinite potential within you. And when you tap into this infinite power within yourself, how you choose to express it outwardly is then up to you. It looks very different for different people because it comes from that inner space of inspiration. But anyone who thinks that they don't have a purpose, I'm here to tell you today that you are not right. You are absolutely wrong about that fact. Every single human being on this planet is on purpose. And that purpose is to be yourself knowingly. When you are being yourself and expressing yourself into the world, then your path is one of possibility, confidence, abundance, perfect timing in all things. But most people are coming from a place of fear, worry, lack. You are not tapped into yourself. What is the self? And the self is the same in all people, right? So although we see separate selves. You see Ryan, then you may see yourself, then you may see others in the world. When we are identified with this separation, that I am Ryan and you are you, we are forgetting that the essence of who we are is exactly the same. It is one. It is the oneness that some people talk about. It is the self. And this self is the same in all people, However, it is being expressed differently through the physical nature of the human that we get to see. But when we're identified with our limited separate self, what we then do is we go on this path of creating as much as we possibly can in order to feel safe, in order to protect the ego. So we want to create as much money as we can and we want to have as many things as possible in order to have a sense of worth and sense of happiness in our lives. We even go as far as 
having homes and building massive walls around homes with electric fencing in order to keep everything that we have created for the separate self secure and safe because we are frightened of who we would be without it. And it is this identification with the separate self which keeps you separate from others and which keeps you living in a state of fear. We have to be willing to let this go. And the only way to let this go is to be yourself and discover the truth of who you really are. Because then from this space, the space that is the same in all of us, we then get to see how perfect it all is. And we can let go of the fear and the lack because it is all shared. It is all one thing expressing itself. It is a greater power available to every single one of us that cares for every single one of us and will provide exactly what we need in perfect timing here and now when we need it. And I know that this might sound complicated to understand, but this is why your purpose exists within you. It is about aligning with that inner power, the inner truth of who you are and not falling in the trap of the illusion of who you think you are and then trying desperately for Ryan to hold on to his Ryanness in order to make sure that that Ryanness gets through life in the safest way possible. There is no Ryanness. My essence is not Ryan. When I was born, I didn't know that I was Ryan. I was self. I was pure awareness. I was the infinite power that you also are right now. And it is your journey towards discovering this power and then pouring it out into the world in the way that you uniquely choose to do that then changes worlds. So let's use the analogy of the ocean. And for some, this may come across as this guy's cooked. He's literally some spiritual individual tripping on some idea. Stay with me. Okay, let's trip together. So if you look at the ocean, there is the individual expression of the wave. So this could be there's many waves, right? There are many individual people in this world, or so it seems. But every single individual wave is, in fact, the entire ocean. And this is the same thing I'm pointing towards when it comes to the truth of who you are and to be yourself. To be yourself is to understand that this individual separate wave or human being is, in fact, the entire ocean. It is awareness. It is just momentarily being expressed as the individual Ryan wave. Because then when we drop into the truth of who we are, we start to express ourselves in our individuality uniquely, while also understanding that the wave is going exactly where the wave has to go. But if you think you are just the wave, if you think you are just the human being, the individual physical self, the separate one, then there's this force and control over life to try and make this wave go where it must go. So I must be powerful and I must be successful and I must be rich and I must have what I want. But that's not the case. The wave is being driven by the totality of the ocean. Can you trust in where your wave is needing to go? Are you willing to let go and surrender to the deeper power of what you actually are and surf this wave passionately from a place of inspiration, from a place that all your path holds because of where your wave is going? Because you are, in fact, the vastness of the ocean. Then, when we look from this perspective, in terms of your purpose, everything that you are passionate about, everything that you want to do, although you might be scared of doing it, although you may be avoiding wanting to take action, is inspired and driven from the depths of who you are. From the depths of the ocean rises your individual waveness, expression, desire, 
passion to create impact in the world in your unique way. So when inspiration arises, inspiration meaning in spirit, will you go for it? Or will you believe in your separateness and hold on so tight because what will happen to me if I actually take this step? What will happen if I am seen for all that I really am? What will happen if I shine as I choose to authentically shine in this reality? And what I want to tell you is that when you choose to authentically shine, everything that is meant for you is yours. So drop into this deeper place. Will you choose fear or will you choose the love that you are? And how do you choose to express this love and express yourself passionately for the greater good of all?